Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily. Today I am going to be going over my R Fantasy bingo board for 2024. I know I'm a little behind. This does take place from April 1st to March 31st of next year. Um, this is the 10th year that Reddit is doing R Fantasy bingo boards. Um, this is a yearly reading challenge uh, in Reddit. Um, a mission to explore strange new worlds, seek out new authors and books, and to boldly go where few readers have gone before. Um, the core of this challenge is encouraging readers to step out of their comfort zones, discovering amazing new worlds, and motivate everyone to keep up their reading throughout the year. I am looking down at my computer. That's where everything is, so I apologize if I'm looking down for most of this video. So, there are rules for here. Um, you can't use the same book more than once on the card. There are 25 spots on here. You can't double up. Um, you may not repeat an author on the card, except you may reuse an author from the short story square, as long as you're not using a short story collection from just one author for the square. And then only one square can be a reread. All other books must be first time reads and the point of the bingo is to explore new grounds. So get out there and explore books you haven't read before. And also there is uh, one that you may substitute one square from the 2024 card with a square from a previous R Fantasy bingo card, if you wish. You may not use the free space and you may not use a square that duplicates another square on the card. So I'm going to be replacing one of the squares, but when we get to it, I'll let you guys know. Um, also there is, uh, you can just do the board with the prompts, the regular prompts, or you can do hard mode, which is an added challenge onto the prompt. And there's also hero mode, which is to review every book that you've read for the bingo. I don't know that I will completely do, um, hard mode or hero mode. I'm hoping that in my like vlogs and stuff, I'll be able to review some of the books I'm reading. But um, other than that, I'm just doing this to have fun. I don't want to have too much pressure, but I'm hoping to at least black out the board, which means to uh, do all the prompts, like complete all the prompts with books. So I am not going to go into detail about these books. I'm just going to tell you what the prompts are for all of them going through the board and the books I'm picking for them. And that's it. So I hope that's okay with you guys, but let's get started. So in the first row, we have first in a series, read the first book in a series. The hard mode is the series is more than three books long. So for that, I have decided to go with Green Rider by Kristen Britton. I think this has eight books in it. And I believe I read like a couple paragraphs of like the first chapter or whatever. And I was really interested and it sounds really good. So I am hoping to get to this one. Number two is alliterative title. Read a book where multiple words in the title begin with the same letter. For example, Legends and Lattes, A Storm of Swords, and Children of Blood and Bone. The hard mode is the title has three words or more that start with the same letter. So for this one, I am going to go for hard mode like the last one. Um, I have The Adventures of Amina Al Sarafi. So Adventures, Amina, and then Al Sarafi. So that should be good, and I've heard really good things about this. Next, we have Under the Surface. Read a book where an important setting is either underground or underwater. Hard mode, at least half the book takes place underground or underwater. So I'm going for hard mode for this. I decided to go with Whispers of the Deep by Emma Hamm. I think the, almost all of this book takes place underwater, so that should fit. It's like a monster fantasy romance. Number four is criminals. Read a book in which the main character is a criminal. This could be a thief, assassin, or someone who commits mail fraud, etc. Hard mode is features a heist. For this one, I decided to go with one that probably everyone has read but me, and that is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I know that there are some thieves in here, and I believe they are going to be committing a heist. So I am hitting hard mode for that one. Number five is dreams. Read a book where characters experience dreams, magical or otherwise. Hard mode is the dream is not mystical or unusual, just a normal dream or nightmare. For this one, I think I found one. I found this in one of the recommendations on Reddit for this. And I have The Helm of Midnight by Marina Lawsetter. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But um, this is one of those ones that you almost have to 
read a book and then just put it here when you come across it. But for this one, I just put this one down. Moving on to row number two, uh, we have entitled animals. Read a book that has an animal in the title. Um, it does not have to appear in the story. So for examples, The Raven Tower, Wolf Song, A Feast of Crows. The hard mode is the animal in the title is a fantasy or sci-fi creature. So like The Last Unicorn, Leviathan Wakes, the Kaiju Preservation Society. Um, for this one, I decided to go with a behemoth book, although I am going to allow myself to switch these out at any point if I really need to. But for this one, I'm going with Dragon Mage by M.L. Spencer. This is like 800 books, but it has dragon in the title. There's a dragon on the cover, and I believe it deals with dragons. So we're going with it. Uh, next, we have Bards. Read a book in which the primary protagonist is a bard, musician, poet, or storyteller. Hard mode, the character is explicitly called a bard. For this one, I have A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. Now, I don't have high hopes for this one, specifically because I did not enjoy Divine Rivals as much as I wanted to. Maybe this one could be better, so I guess we'll find out. Next, I have prologues and epilogues. Read a book that has either a prologue or an epilogue. Hard mode is the book, the book must have both. And I believe Spark of the Everflame by Penn Cole has both, so that's hard mode. Next, we have self-published or indie published. And um, so self-published or published through an indie publisher. If a formerly self-published novel has been picked up by a publisher, it only counts for this challenge if you read it while it was still only self-published. Hard mode is self-published and has fewer than 100 ratings on Goodreads or an indie publisher that has done an AMA with our fantasy. So for this one, I have The Sword of Mercy and Wrath by N.C. Cusis. Um, at the time I put this on here, it has less than 100 ratings. Now it's getting up there because I think it has like 96. So this could or could not count for hard mode by the time I get to it. Next is Romanticy. Read a book that features romance as a main plot. This must be speculative in nature, but does not have to be fantasy. Hard mode is the main character is LGBTQIA+. Um, for this one, I went with A Kingdom of Blood and Magic. I have read this one, um, and it does have a female main character who I believe is bi, so this works perfectly for the square. If you need something, the main character is definitely bi. She had a female love interest and she has a couple male love interests so whichever works um but that one definitely does count i'm counting it anyway moving on to the third row dark academia read a book that fits the dark academia aesthetic this includes school and university secret societies and dark secrets does not have to be fantasy but it must be speculative hard mode is the school itself is entirely mundane for this one i decided to put legend born by tracy dion i've been wanting to read this forever and I believe that the school is just like a mundane university, so I am counting it. Then we have multi-POV. Read a book with at least three points of view characters. Hard mode, at least five points of view characters. I have already completed this one for hard mode. I have read Five Broken Blades uh, by Mai Corland. This does have more than five uh, POVs in it, so definitely works for this one. Then we have published in 2024, book published for the first time in 2024, no reprints or new editions, first translation into your language of choice are allowed. Hard mode, it's also the author's first published novel, so their de debut novel. For this one, I am not doing the hard mode because I didn't think about it after I put it here, but I'm just going to keep this and we'll just not do hard mode for that one. But I have other ones on here that could be considered a hard mode for that, but whatever. So I have Heartless Hunter by Kristen Sicarelli. I've read the author's first book. Um, I never continued on with that series, but this one sounds really good and everyone's loving it. So I'm really excited to get to this one soon. Then we have a character with a disability. Read a book in which an important character has a physical or mental disability. Hard mode, a main character has a physical or mental disability. So for this, I went with Ascendant. Um, by Michael R. Miller. I think it's R. Yeah. Um, so the dragon is blind and I'm not sure if the dragon is a main character or not, but um, this could still work. There's still some kind of uh, disability in it. So I will find out when I read it if it hits hard mode or not. And last in this row, we have published in the 90s. Uh, read a book that was published in the 90s, hard mode. The author or one of the authors has also 
published something in the last five years. For this one, I decided to go with Homeland by R.A. Salvatore. I believe they are still writing. I could be wrong. Um, and I believe this was originally published in the 90s. I also could be wrong about that. So if you know, please let me know. Uh, moving on to the fourth row, uh, we have Orcs, Trolls, and Goblins. Oh my, read a book featuring Orcs, Trolls, or Goblins. Hard mode uh, as a main character. For this one, I have hit hard mode. So it's Forged by Magic by Jenna Wolfhart. I believe one of the characters is an orc and the other one I think is Faye. I could be wrong, but um, one of them is an orc, I believe. Next, we have Space Opera. Read a sci-fi book that features a large cast of characters and has a focus on social dynamics, which may be political or personal in nature, set primarily in space or on spaceships. Hard mode, written by an author of marginalized gender identity. So women, trans people, non-binary people. Um, I believe I have hit hard mode with this. I have Only Bad Options by Jennifer Estep. So it's a space opera and it's written by a woman. So... Next, author of color. Read a book by an author of color. Hard mode must be a debut novel published in the last five years. For this one, I hit hard mode it is Into the Sunken City by Dinesh Thuru. Um, this is their de debut novel, and this one sounds really good. This one could also count for the, was it under the surface one? Because I believe a lot of it takes place underwater in the sunken city. Next, we have Survival. Read a book in which the primary goal of the characters and story focuses on survival. Surviving apocalypse, surviving a war, surviving, surviving a high school. Um, hard mode is no super viruses or pandemics. For this one, I have already completed in hard mode. So we did Powerless by Lauren Roberts. Um, there's like these trials, they have to survive. So works for both. Next is judge a book by its cover. Choose because you like its cover. Hard mode, pick the book based only on the information available on the cover. No reading the blurb. Now, I'm, I feel like I'm cheating for hard mode for this, but I have read the blurb for this before. But I can't remember a single thing about it. It's been so long. But I love this cover so much. So I am counting this for this. At one point, I read the blurb, but I cannot remember at all what this book is about. But the cover is definitely beautiful. Finally, we're on the final row, the fifth row. Uh, the first one is set in a small town. The primary setting is a small town. Hard mode is the small town can be real or fictional, but the broader setting must be our real world and not a secondary world. So for this one, I definitely hit hard mode. I got Getting It On With Gargoyles. This is like a fantasy, cozy fantasy romance. And I believe these humans stumble upon this uh, small town that has these fantastical creatures in it and it goes from there. So definitely counting it. Then we have um, five SFF short stories, any five short stories or novella or novelettes, novellas, whatever. Hard mode, read an entire speculative anthology or collection. I am not gonna hit hard mode for this. I, I think last October I started this book, but At Home with the Horrors by Sammy Scott. These are like horror short stories and I read a couple and then I just never read anymore so I'm hoping that I can finish this one out before next year so here's to hoping. Next we have Eldritch Creatures. Read a book featuring a being that is uncanny, unearthly, and weird. This can be a god or monster from another plane or realm and is usually beyond mortal understanding. For hard mode the book is not related to the Clithu mythos. I don't know what that is, but a lot of people were recommending this book, so I decided to go with The Ninth Reign by Jen Williams. I hear lots of good things about this, and I'm really intrigued to find out what all the hype is for. Then we have reference materials. Read a book that features additional materials such as map, footnotes, glossary, translation guide, dr dramatis personae. Um, hard mode is a book contains at least two types of additional materials. For this one, I'm going with The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett. I am solely going on the fact that everyone says that this can hit hard mode, so I'm going with it. I'm really intrigued. I love me a good, like, Sherlock Holmes-inspired book. And then the last one is Book Club or Read Along Book. Um, I think it's for our fantasy. The hard mode is must read a current selection of either Book Club or Read Along and participate in the discussion. This is the one that I have replaced. I replaced it with a prompt from last year's bingo board and it's multiverse, I believe. Hang on, let me look. Yeah, multiverse. And I believe um, the hard mode for this is 
you can't get to these other multiverses through a door. So if I remember correctly, I believe this book can hit hard mode, but I will find out when I read it. And that is The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson. I have been so interested in this book for so long and I just want to get to it. So it is on here and I'm hoping that this is my uh, in of finally reading it. So uh, this is what my board looks like right now. I have finished three of the books, so I'm not too far behind, but I definitely have a lot more to go. So I'm hoping that by March 31st of next year, 2025, that this board will be completely blacked out and I will have completed this. And then um, I would love to continue on and try again next year. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've read any of these books or if you are also participating in the Our Fantasy Bingo Board for 2024. Like the video down below and subscribe if you want to. I'd greatly appreciate it. And until my next video, I will see you guys again soon. Bye!